Hello guys, Sisikar here and welcome back to the Room of Requirement in Hogwarts Legacy! We discovered this room in the previous episode. Anyway, we're gonna continue speaking to Professor Weasley and figure out more about this room because I think we're gonna use it a lot and I still need to rotate that potion table. So, <laughs> let's speak to her right away. Hello, Professor Weasley! I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Well, I actually have enough um, Moonstones. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Hmm, okay. Your wall decoration and floor decoration. Have you heard? Okay. For the floor. Oh, we have some blankets around here. Still go red-ish. Or should we try this one? Nice. Okay. Oh, more floor decoration. Let's have one here as well. Where the ocean thing gonna be? We don't need more blankets right now. We can maybe have a table. Wall. Oh, we have some. Mirrors and pictures. Oh, that's a cute one. Good work. Shall we move on? We should absolutely do that. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. All right. Here we go. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, then we definitely need to go to T. And this one, wasn't it? This one I want to change. Thank you very much. Oh, we can rotate it, luckily. Do we want to change it, maybe? Ooh. This was actually also red, I didn't saw, I saw that in the beginning. Or every one of them is red. What? Let's take this one! Change the color of an item. We just did, didn't we? Let's do that on this chair then! F, change color. Ooh! Look at that! Alright, I didn't see that. Okay, red you are going to be. Ah! Adjust the size of an item. Let's do that on a table. Uh, what exactly did we do now? <laughs> okay. Let's change the size. Whoa, okay, that was a little too big. <laughs> That was maybe a little too small. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Okay. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. Okay. Oh. 
So cool! This is very cool, actually. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm ready, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Oh, uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ooh, a cool moonlight ambient sounds perfect. I did like something natural and earthy. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Natural and earthy sounds great. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy, as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, sounds perfect. Ooh. Definitely got warmer. That's for sure. Hmm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. What? Just happened. I got a bigger space. What? Are you kidding me? This is insane. And good. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Wow, you guys. What? Level 13! But like, are you kidding me right now? I can do so much here, it's not... What? Oh my gosh, look here! Like, this is so cool, I can't even begin to describe it exactly, but... What? Wow. Just wow. So cool. I love the windows and decorations and like everything here. But you guys, time flies again. What? I think we actually gonna run to Hogsmeade and buy a broom. That will be the last thing we do in this episode as well. Like time flies too much actually. And then we're gonna take Sebastian in the episode after that. Poor Sebastian, I have to wait a long time. But Oh, this is so insanely good, you guys. Okay, we will head to Hogsmeade, uh, buy a broom, and then we will end there, unfortunately. Time flies too fast. Okay, see you in Hogsmeade. Here we are, back at Hogsmeade. We need to find this flight kind of uh, shop or something. Oh, it's right here. Ew, the door should be here. <laughs> ah, new face. Wonderful. Here we are. Hello. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Hmm. I'll have a look, thank Sounds you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around, thank you. What are we looking for today? 
We are looking for a broom and we have enough, I think. Yeah, 600 is not much. Comfortable and speedy broom with a unique wagon design. Stars broom with a light touch, quite literally. <laughs> Finally crafted from ash. This room is built for stability. Room to jump itself at your particular Hogwarts house, Pride. <laughs> the perfect room for those with fear return from it. I kind of want the last one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thank you. Now we have our own broom. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Yes, of course. Sounds worth a try. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. I will. Oh, Hogsmeade and certain other risks behind the flying. Look for the no flying icon near the minimap. I see it actually. Can't help but admire Mr. Weeks's enthusiasm. <laughs> okay, you guys, we are actually out of time again. Wow, time flies so much when we are playing Hogwarts Legacy. We have been doing some more things about the room of requirement, but we also got a broom, you guys, so now we can really start flying around here. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, unfortunately, we didn't have time for Sebastian this time either, because so much was happening in the room of requirement. But we got a broom, too. So room of requirement and broom sounds like a very good thing to have, actually, in this episode. But next time, oh my gosh. <laughs> We will not speak with Imelda yet, but we will go to Sebastian this time and see what's going on there. And take it from there, see what's more, or if we will have more time after that, but we'll see. Like, this episode gets a little too short, so I'm not getting so into the game as I want, but we're gonna have more live streams, that's for sure. So you guys, tell me what you think so far, and if you have tried it, let me know in the comments below, of course. If you have experienced something that was whoa or not so well, <laughs> because I have already experienced that, but I think I will experience more of that too. So yeah, we will see. So give me a thumbs up if you like the video, share with friends and family, and also subscribe to my channel for more videos from different video games. And I see you already on Monday for another gameplay video from Horse Tales and Road Valley Range. See you then. Bye.